How are you, Ben? What's up, my friend? How you doing? I'm doing great. All right. Good, man. Thanks for thanks for jumping on here. Excited to to chat here and ke kind of catch up a little bit. And before we kind of uh, go into anything, I guess, tell me, like, where are things at, like, right now with, with what you're doing? I'm very happy with how the things are going, like, it's just very like stress free, I would say. Um, um, a lot of sales for sure. Transitioning, like, and it hasn't even been a month. Like when I started this, it was September sixteenth, and I didn't get my first like sale or transition. Like maybe like a few days after, but um, I got. It's just so much organized, uh, and I feel like the evaluation session helped out a lot to get like the players that I'm looking for because yeah. there has been some players where I had to tell them like this program is not for you and mm -hmm. it was very and I guess the parents understood because they saw the exercises that I do and the, the drills that I do were were not for them so um also like you know checking that their attitude or focus some players didn't have the right attitude mm -hmm. the right focus and I also had to tell them but for the most part the players that you know that you know, um, they signed up. They're really serious, committed. You know, that's what the the program is all about. What you said, like you want to have players that are more committed, that want a long term success. Mm -hmm. So I feel like it just helped out with that. Also, organizing it, it's so much easier. Like I get players that that go to a a specific time in a day every week. So that completely wiped out the the hassle of finding players or or getting last minute texts whether, you know, they want to join a session now or the, or the next day. But, you know, I, I eliminated that. I, every player has, goes through the same thing where I tell them, like, oh, you either have to join this new or new system or new program or, you know, you you can't join. So Good, I, I love that a lot. That's yeah. awesome. And do you feel like that's saved you a lot of time now with parents? So much time, so much time. Like, it was this summer, most, like, before I started this, it was really, really, like, it was very disorganized, very, very disorganized. I, I had, you know, players that didn't show up to sessions, you know, and since without this new system, like I can't get paid for that time back. So right. versus this new system, there have been players that don't show up, but they understand the terms. And they 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 tell me even before they're like, oh, he might not show up to the sessions. Uh, he'll try to go as much as he can. I'm like, yeah, no problem. But you, you know, you they understand that the session that they don't show up, they still gotta, you know, they're still paying for it. They're still committed. Right. right. Yeah. No, no skin off your back because they've already committed. And yeah, you understand that. They understand that. Uh, very cool, man. And tell me, I'm I'm curious, what was before we started working together? Like, what was like the most annoying thing about your business? That, that if you had to kind of just take a step back and be like, all right, this is taking me forever. This is the hardest part. What what was that for you? There's two big ones. Number one was like the the sessions scheduling because sometimes I would have like a session that that would have like no players or one player, and mm -hmm. then all out of nowhere, uh, people show up to like one session. They either just show up or they text me last minute, like, oh, and then I have like 10 kids in one session and it's very disorganized. That's number one. And number two, I guess the payment, like, it's very annoying. Like if I had a player that, especially if I go to, to, to travel to somewhere to train someone and they don't show up, you know, I, I just lost a lot of time, you know, maybe other players wanted that time, were interested in that time. And for the parent, like, you know, they're not accountable so they don't really care, you know, they're right. nobody's going to care about your, you know, your time, you know, it's their time. So I guess those are the two, the two biggest things, just the, the organization and the payment. Mm -hmm. And now with the payment, it's like when they enroll, you're not really talking about money anymore. Yeah. It's I, and I forget about that. You know, I'm still, I'm still, you know, fresh new in this, in the, in the program that, you know, I was, I, that you taught us. Um, but yeah, I forget about that. You know, it hasn't even been a month or, you know, the term that day, but I know next month, like they, they love the training, you know, and then I know I'm going to, uh, it's since it's like an automatic thing. So I know they're going to continue. No one has, has canceled yet or discontinued. So I, I feel like it's been going great. The, the, the parents, the players, they, they, they look at our program a little bit more seriously than before. Like they understand that, 
you know, we're, we want, we're looking for results, right? And the, the, the consistent training is, is what's going to get that. If they only come once every month, you know, they're not going to get results. You know, it's not going to help anyone. And right. also as a, as a business owner, a standpoint it's you know, it's a lot better, a lot better getting players that are more committed. Um, they understand they're more professional. They look at me a little bit more professional. So mm -hmm. I think Got it's been really good. That's awesome, man. So for people that are watching, kind of break down, like, what does what your program do? Like, what is your program about? So I train soccer players. Um, I do more, like, speed, agility, you know, uh, more performance outside of the field. I also do offer, you know, outdoor training, one-on-one, -on -one private, uh, but that's outside of the – it's kind of separate. I still keep it in the program, but it's separate, you know, if players are interested in that. It's usually players that are available during the, the morning times, either homeschooled, college players, D Division One, Division Two, So things like that. Got That's it. Yeah. So kids that want to get faster, stronger, prevent injury, that sort of yep. stuff. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All that stuff that have to do outside of the field, whether, you know, you want to get like, more explosive things for that I – I would say soccer players need, you know, I, I know I, every once in a while I do get kids from other sports like football or hockey, whatever it is. They see our training, they see our videos, they like it. Um, and then they go through the same process. And if they, they enjoy it, then I don't mind if they, you know, if right. we can do them, I don't mind them joining the program as well. Got it. Very cool. And how did you, I don't think I've, I've asked you this before, but how did you get started in the business? Like what, what was like, prompted you to like be like all right i want to start this thing um so i used to i guess when i was a player you know when i was a player i that's something i struggled with so i was always good on the ball very technical smart you know good iq with soccer uh, but i struggled with the fitness part i was the least fit player in in my in my team i played for red bulls like i mentioned before and you know and that's a really high level team and to be you know the worst fitness like my fitness was absolutely terrible and i would have to sit down with coaches every time like oh like you have to put your fitness you have to fix it you know you have to improve it or you're not gonna you're not gonna be able to play and then i guess um i started doing my training on my own similar to what i teach now and i became from the worst and i went from being the best like all the fitness tests i just felt better i felt stronger and i, I was like the number one for for fitness and that you know, mixing that with my talent already, I was, it was very, very, very good. Very good outcome. Very good result. So you're living proof that what you actually <laughs> do with kids has, has worked. Yeah. So that's what I tell parents. Like when they ask me these, these questions, I tell them like, look, I've, I've been through this myself. So I've done this, you know, and it's even better now because I've had more experience. You know, I, I teach multiple things, more things. I have more equipment and, you know, it's even, it's even better now. Right. And at, at what age did you start your business? Like, seriously, um, a year ago. So-so was two years ago. And then I started, like, you know, just training one or two kids, like, on my off time because I was still in school and college, um, like, three three summers ago. Three summers ago. So Gosh. this year, this would be, like, the second year that it's, like, a real business where I'm training kids at a consistent schedule. Yeah. Got it. Got it. And I know before we you start working with me, you were already doing it full time, and our goal was yeah. to make it more professional. Like yeah. all the things you said earlier, streamline, save time, yeah. uh, get clients more committed. And let's talk about because like this isn't a question I get to ask a lot of people um, on these calls, and I'm I'm trying to do this more. But when you think about just your your overall business, right? Yeah. Like what's and I know you you've been in business for a couple of years already, but like what's your favorite part about running this type of business? Um I feel like my favorite part is when I get like really high level players, the elite players. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's it's enjoyable because I know they have they have like a different level of commitment and, and it's, it's kind of hard to say, but you you can tell when, when a player is like, you know, um, amateur versus like elite, like just their level of focus, their level of dedication, their consistency. 
And I guess I would say the favorite part is is that like when you train them, they 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 make you want to train harder, make you want to be a better coach, a better trainer because because they're all in. They're they're completely all in. They're always focused. They come prepared, and you know they they they're the ones that make you know us trainers push even harder. So I guess that would be my favorite. Right. Does it remind you? I'm curious. Does it remind you of yourself when you were like in middle school, high school? Because like you were a top player but you just needed that extra edge yeah yeah yeah. i guess you could say that like um they have the same personality same characteristics as you know other elite players and myself like i remember when i was their age i just wanted to you know do the work that i needed to like you know i had i want i knew that hard work would pay off so i for them to understand that at that age i don't even know how i understood it at that age but you know finding the right guidance is is very important so yeah Mm -hmm. very cool and i'm curious how you would respond to this so and this is fresh in my mind because like it happened literally 10 minutes before we got on this call so i was talking with a with a trainer who is doing this part-time and he wants to go and do this business full-time and he was considering our program and he was asking me he was like well do i need to have like 50 or 60 clients to do this full time and i told him no but i'm curious like with your experience and like with where you're at right now in your business like if you were talking to a trainer that's that's considering this full time like how many clients do you think they would actually need to have that are committed to do this as a full time thing so um i guess it depends like where where you're training players like if you're have a place or you have an open field and I feel like it's not it's not too difficult. Like even before I joined this program, I told you how I had like a long summer. I trained a lot of kids, um, making a lot. But coming September, the whole season starts, and because I didn't have this program, you know, parents just don't show don't don't ask anymore. They don't they don't need me. So even when I started this program, I started kind of from like zero. I only had like two three kids, and I told you I mentioned like how you know they'll they'll come back like they'll just have to text me. Right. But now when they text me, they're going to have to go through this new through this new program. And that's what that's what happened. And from September 16th to, to now, big, big difference. Like I have, I've had a lot of kids. So I guess it's kind of similar. Like you're always going to have to start somewhere. It's not going to be difficult. Um, it's just about being organized, you know, even with with what we learn about the how to, you know, uh, advertise yourself, what videos to post, how to do that it's it's quick and one thing one of the the videos that i saw um when i was going through the program with with you was there's no place in the world (laughs) i think that's what someone said that that there's not enough kids for you to train yes like you'll always find someone's there's there's always an area there's no area that doesn't have like thousands of kids that are are available that want that want what you want right yeah yeah, and it's, it's refreshing to hear that because I think a lot of coaches have scarcity mindset. Like, oh, there's too many other coaches in my area that are doing this. So, like, I shouldn't start a business or or I don't know if there's any kids that are doing this. But, like, I would always tell someone just to go to Google and just type in, like, youth sports industry or youth sports growth. And, like, people can see in two seconds – how many kids are playing soccer or how many kids are playing (laughs) basketball and it's i mean it's it is unbelievable how many kids are playing now and specifically parents that want more specialized training yeah Yeah. right um and so a couple questions about just like how you train kids because i know people will will they'll watch an interview like this and then they'll they'll message me like we'll be like well like how long is he training his kids like how many mm-hmm. times per week are they are they training? So how how long are your actual sessions that you run? So yeah, I run every session an hour, sixty minutes. Um, if they show up late, you know they don't get that time back. Same thing. Um, what you know that's something we changed too. I struggled with that. Players would come late and then they would expect more time. Like they they understand our our terms. Mm-hmm. So um, yeah, it's one hour. Um, the the question that you asked that how do I do it? Like it's more of that like boot camp type of training, like that you I remember one of the documents said, like, do you want to separate it by age, by level, 
or boot camp. So I guess the evaluation session is very important. And that's another part that that's why evaluation sessions matter, because you can, if you do want to do the other ways, um, you know, you can know where to place them. Yeah. Uh, but the way I do it is more boot camp. So it doesn't matter the age, um, but the level does matter. So uh, I could have a kid that's six years old with a kid that's like 16, but they understand the ex the exercise. And you know they they have their their individual space, their individual um, area, and they do they perform the same exercise. So if one kid is struggling, you know I'm I'm making sure I watch them, I fix them, but the other kid is working on his own. So I don't take time away from the other kid because he's still working. I'm just you know five seconds, five ten seconds. I fix this kid. I know that he'll understand. He just needs a little bit more help, and that's how I go about it. Right, and that's my preferred model. Like when I was yeah. running my soccer training business and my groups that's what i went with and i always i always like that model personally a lot better than having just like middle school age group or high school age group because like we'd be technically working on the exact same things yeah it's like if we can individualize this a little bit more then it's not going to matter the age so i like how you have your setup where it's like yeah level specific uh that's really cool man and to give people context like how many sessions do you like what's a normal week for you right now like how many sessions are you normally running per week um so i run let's see around three to four three to four sessions from monday through thursday with the group so those are group sessions anything outside of those hours are private um, if someone hasn't taken that slot, so I have that slot for free, but now I'm not wondering, like, is someone going to join that slot? Like, I know I have free, so I know I have time to like, look at videos, get improved, look at ads, um, you know, do, do something on my own, on my own time, because I know no one's going to show up versus, you know, before, like I would be doing something on my computer and that kid just walks in and I'm like, you never told me you were coming. Like, <laughs> now it's... <laughs> That was very, very, yeah, very, very organized. So yeah, I, I would say around three to four sessions of group uh, from Monday to Thursday. Everything else outside of those hours, I do privates. If you know, I haven't, I have them enrolled. Yeah, got it. So you feel like right now, like your day to day is just like way more. Like you probably have more free time, right? A lot, a lot more. Like it's. The organization is one of the biggest things that, that that have changed for me. Like I know, like I have my schedule. I use the Google Calendar. So I see a session that I have or the day. I know I have to be there at be that time. And then the time that I have off, like, yeah, I have so, so much free time. It's it's not like I have right. like free time, like like I'm not working, like uh like you know, you, like you, it's not, it's, I'm not saying that it's not a good thing to have free time, but it's also not a bad thing. Like if you know, you have to go to a session, then you have to do it. If you don't, you know, you can fill in other things that you have to do during the day. Right. So yeah. 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 You just have your, your day is a lot, I would say more structured now with yeah. what you're doing, when your sessions are just the predictability of, of when certain things are happening. Um, yeah. Like more efficient, I would say. Yeah. Yeah. Because, like, if I have a free time, I guess I would use that to do something else. If someone chose not to do anything, maybe they want a little break or something, then, yeah, I guess I could do that, too. Very cool. So you're, like, in your early 20s, right? I'm 23, yeah. Yeah, 23 years <laughs> old. Okay. So as a 23-year-old, you are so much further ahead than I was when I was 23. But what I'd like to do is, talk to the 20 the, the 19 to 23 year olds with, with your answer here like what is what has been for you i guess the key to your success up to this point <laughs> i guess like you know working hard but everyone you know that's everyone says that but i guess like finding the right people to to guide you I feel like, you know, I knew what I was doing. I like what I was doing, you know, I, because I, I, like I told you, I, I've been through the same type of training that, that myself, so I knew it worked, but I guess finding the right guidance, and I feel like over this summer, I think that was something that I really wanted to 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 have, and when I found your program, I was like, wow, like, this is actually going to help, and, you know, it's, it, 
it was hard to transition because it's something you've never done. Yeah. But I feel like every time I had a question, like it would get it would get answered. Mm -hmm. Or you know, in the community that you have, like you know, a lot of play, a lot of people have diff, uh, the same experience. You know, they've asked the question already. So it's like I never had like an issue. Like, and I, and one of the things that I like about um, about you specifically is when I ask you a question, like you're like, yeah, this is how you go about it. Like you had an answer, and it was like so easy for you to to to, to say it. Mm -hmm. But I guess for 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 younger for younger um, players, like I mean. It's not uh, if you like it, if you do like it, you know, it's not it's not something uh, hard. I guess you just have to put your your mind to it and mm -hmm. implement. That's one of the biggest key uh, things that you would say, like you have to do it. You implement, you know, if you if you're if you feel like you can't do it, you're not confident, then you have to get more reps in, more reps in. So with time, you know, and the, the younger you start, the more time you have. So I guess. Yeah, uh, that's what I'm saying. Implement. Very, very cool, man. Very cool. And. When you think about, so we're like, today's October 14th when we're doing this interview. When you think about how the business is set up now, right, compared to how it was like in August, what's your, I guess, I don't want to say what's your expectation level, but like what's, where's your mind going now when you think about the future of your business? Like, are you thinking like, yeah, this is going to be like a really consistent six figure per year type of thing like what wh where where do you think and how do, how do you think about it yeah like it's only been like a month and i made like the like last week when i spoke to you you said you asked me like how are the numbers and stuff and i told you it was like from nine to eight k and now i'm already from like 12 to 13 k in one week in one week so i feel like Dude, that's amazing <laughs> yeah like i feel like it's it's and that's not and that's that i don't have like you know, this is the in-season time. Yeah. You know, and most players join like the off season or when they have more availability in the in the spring season. So yeah, of course, I feel like, you know, I always think long term. That's the that's the way to go about it with all the videos that that I've seen. Like, you know, the coaches, they they already think two, three years in advance. So I feel like in the in the next year, yeah, um, hopefully, you know. The way it's going, the consist the consistency and the, the learning that I'm doing, the experience. Um, I see a six figure even more. I'm I'm looking to to get into a bigger facility. Like mm -hmm. I mentioned, you know, one of the first things, like that's my goal. And then, you know, even adding to that, get more trainers, you know, set up, you know, something like that. Yep. Um, but yeah, I always think long term. So yeah, I, I would say my expectations are are I wouldn't say too high, you know, you never know, but um you know, be thinking positive. And I feel like, you know, the way it's going right now uh, and with more reps, because I'm still fresh into this, uh, it's definitely going to be going to be helpful. And, you know, I feel like it's going to go good. That's awesome, man. Um, that's really, really cool. And I'm curious just to get your feedback with the new way of you, like, like the new sales process that you have implemented right now. Like, how does that, how does that feel now like when you're when you're talking parents through your process like compared to the old way of you because i remember like when you initially talked to me like a lot of the stuff you're doing was like on dms or text like what what's the biggest difference now i would say when you walk parents through your your actual process oh that's so so much easier like i have the organization and again it comes back because it's something so important like the script that we have to, you know, to talk to parents, like, and this is coming from me. Like I hated talking to, to people through the phone. I remember like, talking to you about that. <laughs> like I hated it. I hated it. But you like the videos that I've seen, you even said it like after the, I remember clearly you told me after the 10th call, like you'll be, you'll be, no, uh, you'll be fine. Yeah. And with the sales pro tracker that you have, like I saw it, I'm like, okay, I see. I began uh, like the feeling, one of the, the, the sections were, how do, you, how do you feel going into this call? And, you know, it was always nervous, nervous, a little bit nervous. Like, I'm okay. Now it's just normal, confident, normal, normal. Like, it's something, something that, you know, with reps. So, yeah, um, before I would just, I would just, you know, if someone messaged me and they're like, oh, I'm interested, I just send them our prices, our times. They have no idea what we're about. They don't know the value. They don't have, you know, they've never seen what, what, what we're like, what our personality is. So they could either join or not. 
But with this new process, like, you know, it's even important for me to know the parent, not only for the parent to know me, like, is this parent committed? Is this parent, you know, um, and, and it's hard to say, but like, are they wasting my time? Or am I wasting their time? Like, for real, like, if, they, if they're committed or not, like, if they hear, like, the plans that we offer, and they're like, whoa, I can't commit to that. Okay, that's fine. I'll just move on to the next parent that is very committed. They're looking long to and they want results. So yeah, it's so much, it's so much different. It's that's one of the biggest things that that changed is how I go about, you know, receiving the, the new players. Yeah. Yeah, because then then when they join one of the groups that you already have, it's like you know they're a good fit. They're not yeah. gonna like ruin that session or yeah. take it away from your day. And um yeah, and it's funny, like while you were saying that it was making me think about kind of like, I don't think I've ever shared this on here uh, or on our YouTube channel, but it made me think about the first ever like real committed client that I ever worked with. I remember uh, I, I had these, these issues where it was like the majority of the kids that I would train with, they would train with me like once a month. Yeah. and you, like you know how that is it's like you like they're texting you hey can we train with you tomorrow at this time and you're like <laughs> sure and and i remember i had this really like solid committed client who was training once a week uh when we would have set day set time they would never miss and this kid was like he was like six and a half years old and he was the youngest kid i was training just the most serious most committed and I remember um, those kids just, they were doing whatever they wanted. Like whenever they wanted to train, that's that's how it was. And I was too loose and, and it was affecting me financially because like if everyone was showing up, like it would it would have been a, a much different type of business, but they weren't yeah. and it was my fault. Um, and I remember I hit this breaking point where I was like, I'm just gonna like get everybody either like super committed or they're going to be out i'm never going to see them again <laughs> and the funniest thing was like i went to the to the parent of the kid who was already really really committed and i had this like like you know how our agreement is set up but like i had yeah. it was like a it was like a seven page document like it was like way stricter than what we have in our program okay and i took it to the dad of the really committed player and i had him read it during our session and he was like, after like, after our session, he had it signed and gave it back to me. He was like, he's like, Ben, you should have done this like on day one with us. We would have signed it in two seconds. And he started laughing and he was like, you need to get all of your other customers. Like he was telling me this. He's yeah. like, you need to get everybody on this. And that week it was like, I remember going to people who were just so flaky. And when I gave it to them, they got so scared. <laughs> and that was like my way of doing things because like i i was just sick and tired of, of how it was going uh, but mm -hmm. it's cool man to see how you've implemented because like you know now like when people work with you they're not gonna they're not gonna be wasting your time and, yeah. and actually like like get results with them too yeah, yeah that's the whole point that's the whole yeah. point of business is to actually help kids get what you got when you did it yourself yeah you know? back in the day and that's that's why it works for people that genuinely love coaching kids because it's like they could have all the business strategies in the world it's not gonna it's not gonna matter if they don't like helping kids but like i know you love helping kids and i remember our first call like i could i could tell how how into it you are and we just needed to to tweak some of the stuff on the on the business side and, and it's been yeah. cool to see how you've implemented man because like they it's it's impressive seeing a, a 23 year old <laughs> young just go after it and, and make the changes because it does take guts to to make changes yeah. a lot of people a lot of people can know what to do and how to do it but they, they may be hesitant actually mm -hmm. pulling the trigger of going to do the thing and that's the thing that, that holds people back so um that's cool man yeah, that, yeah, you know, <laughs> like you say, like it's it's hesitant, but like I feel like the way you know the the way that you spoke was like it, it made me a little bit more confident because if if I would ask you a question and you would be like, um, 
No, like I, I don't think I've ever had, I asked you a question that you didn't know how to answer. Like I know some some people have more specific, but you would just say based on experience, like okay, this is how it was, and then that's exactly what would happen. Like like yeah. with parents, like it's it's insane, like the amount of help that. And I and you know I, I ask you so many questions, like you know you say be annoying, ask questions. I ask you so many questions, but you know it it really does help. It really really does. Yeah. The people I, I've said this since two thousand seventeen. The coaches that are the most annoying, that ask the most questions, that want the most help, get the greatest results. Like, yeah. like next Monday, I have a call with with a guy who I've known since 2017. He's done roughly $3.5 million since I've known him. Wow. He still asks the most questions. <laughs> like, there, there's reasons why people that we work with like become really successful and it's it's not it's not just because they're talking to me it's like they they actually implement yeah they implement that's number one yeah yeah that's yeah. that's the key and and i'm the type of person it's like i i only like to teach based off of like real experience like yeah. that's why that's why like it's great working with someone like you because like you listen you're coachable and like you'll you'll just go do it you're not like second yeah. guessing me or or our system of how we do stuff it's like you, you just went after it and that that does take a lot of of courage to do that um but you follow through man so you get rewarded <laughs> i mean that's i tried to have that same philosophy like when when i when i met you and i'm like wow but how does he do it like how does he like it's not like you're you're you know you're you're trying to you know you're, it's not like you're lying or anything like it's it's real like it's it's real that like like you know what you say and I implemented it and I try to take that philosophy to the kids I'm like like listen like the training is gonna work but are you gonna be able to do it are you gonna focus are you gonna show up on time it's not just about you know being here it you have to show up on time be committed show up every time you know and tell your parents they have to be accountable you know and one of the first things that you said like. I like training, uh, like the the play, the sorry, the people that you allow in your program. Like you hold everyone accountable, mm -hmm. and I try to do the same thing with with my training. Like I hold parents, players accountable. Like, are you eating the right stuff? Like it's, it's things like that. Are you what are you doing at home? Like you you're doing the work here, but but if you're overweight or you're underweight, like are you eating the the proper the proper meals? So, mm -hmm. I try, you know, I learned a lot. You know, little things like that. How you do it, I try to do it the same. Yeah, and it's it's funny, like <laughs> I never told you this, but I'll say it now. And any of the coaches that listen to this, this is really important to me. So every single one on one meeting I had with you, like I have my email set up to where it says like like this person has joined the meeting, like and it, including today, like you showed up to the every Zoom call before me. <laughs> that's that's someone who's responsible, accountable, and and I know this because this is how I am. It's like, I know that if I have like a scheduled meeting with someone, it's like, I'm going to be there. And I know if I'm that way and like that part of my life, like it's going to be easy to like help someone. And it's like, when, when you think about training kids, it's like, I can assure you're probably always there on time, right? Already really prepared, like, and people people really respect that and will tend to listen to that person because they know that that person's on their game. Yeah. So yeah, every single one of our meetings, I got that email right before I locked down. It says Kevin's off. <laughs> so, <Yeah. laughs> that's good, man. No, yeah. that's, that's good. And a lot of people your age and older don't have that uh, down yet. And that affects them in a lot of different areas in their business. So, yeah. cool, man. so I guess last question I have for you is, if someone's watching this and maybe they've watched some of our YouTube videos and they've, they're wanting to go down this path of doing this as like a full-time thing, or they want to scale their business. Like, why would you, I guess at this point, why would you recommend our program to that, per, to that person? I, even now, like I have like some friends that want to be trainers. I'm like, I already know who to send them to. Like, but, um, like I said, like if you really genuinely like doing this and you want to like grow your business, this this is like the the big the best program. I I would recommend it so like highly to to everyone. Like even the friends that I I have, um, if they ask me, like you know, if that's what they want, because you know it's still like a part time thing for them. But 
even then I already feel like telling them like, look, this is the program you have, you have to do it. You know, if you want to like grow your business, this is, this is it, this is it. Cause it, it shows there's so many details step by step. So many like, you know, uh, people in the program that already experienced similar things, especially when you're starting that just gives you the confidence to do it. So I recommend it like a hundred percent, 120 percent if I can. Got it. That's cool. So last question I have is like, yeah, I know in our community, I mean, we're about to, we're at 249 people right now. Uh, what what has that been like for you to like log in and see what other people are doing ahead of you? Like, and, and has, has that helped you kind of like think bigger? Yeah, yeah, that's that's actually a good question. Like, I see, like, sometimes I think I have like this crazy idea, like, damn is that like is that normal to do or you know am i thinking too big but like there's someone that's like oh i just made it for example x amount of sale or i'm running this promotion or i tried this i tried that and i'm like wow like these guys you know it's 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 such a good environment to have and again i try to hold that philosophy same thing as my training like if you're in, in an environment where everyone is trying to learn everyone's trying to get better everyone's gone through these experiences you know that's where you actually grow that's awesome. Yeah, it's been easy. It's been really easy. Like when I log in, I have a question or, you know, I look through other players, uh, other people's, you know, experience or the videos that I haven't even got to yet. Mm. Uh, I'm already, I already know like, okay, I have to make sure I take the right notes and try this, you know, try that, you know, there's like an unlimited amount of things that we can try. And, you know, every year, like you say, you always update it. So like, you know, yeah. it's, it's, it's great. It's great. Cool, man. Well, dude, that's awesome. Thank you for, sharing your experience and uh, I guess before we go I know you're again only 23 like I, I try to ask people this question in your mind because I know you you are the type of person who thinks long term uh, which like anyone that's successful and at anything has to have that sort of mindset uh, but where do you where do you kind of picture your business in I'll say after the World Cup, because like World Cup's going to be here uh, in 26 in two summers, right? Or I guess a year and a half from now. Yeah. Uh, where where do you think you want things to be at that point? As far as like the amount of clients that are in your program, uh, maybe like assistant coaches and like facility. Try try to give some specifics of. Maybe yeah i mean by that time i'm you know i, I probably want to see myself you know having that bigger facility um having more free time you know um to, to do stuff on my own like free time for me is not really like like i'm not doing anything like yeah it's free time for me is like i have time to do other things like to to organize myself even better like how can i grow this even more like free time is away from training actually being there so if i have the trainers and I trust them, then yeah, I, I see, I picture myself like having like a, a consistent players, a bunch of community, uh, a, a good community of players that, that, you know, been through the program. I also, not only that, but like where my players will be like in, in a few years from now, like I see them probably playing in the best teams, good academies, going division one. So um, things like that, you know, I think about the players just as much as I think about me. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm, by the time for that World Cup, you know, hopefully I'm I'm good to to attend a few games. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh man, it'll be that'll be exciting. That's really cool. And one thing, one thing that I want to, I just caught you say. You said I think about my players just as much as I think about me, and I can't tell you how important it is to keep that sort of mindset coming up because I see a lot of people. What what tends to happen with just every, most people? It's it's they see some success with their business, and they take their eye off the thing that ultimately has led them to that success, which is like client results. Yeah, right? yeah. and and having that at the forefront of your mind, like how can I make this program better? How can I deliver even more value to these kids? Like how can I stay on these kids, keep them even more accountable to, to make sure the results are getting better and better. That's the thing that like the guy I told you about earlier, who's made millions of dollars since, since I've known him, like 
his program at, at the end of the day, it's just better than yeah. what most people could imagine. Yeah. Yeah. And it, the results are great. And that's that's why people stay. That's why he's done so well. And, <laughs> yeah. and that's what his focus is on, though. His focus is not on the money. Like, of yeah. course, like it has to make money. Like, and he's made a lot of money, but it's it's because of the, the service, the product. It's one one money. thing I remember, like on our first on our first or second call, I think it was like what you said, you were like, that I'm not going to change your life. Like if I join this program, yeah. you're going to change my life. And and that's what I think. I, I think about that when I talk to kids, I'm like, listen, you're not going to change my life if you join, but I'll change yours. Like you're going to be more, more successful in your game, Like you're going to get better. And, and it's so true. Like, you know, I, I, I changed a lot, a lot, like, you know, even being more comfortable with talking on the phone, like, you know, something that I didn't like to do before, you know? but now it's it's very very different now very very yeah. different yeah and that single that single skill of going from hating it to now it's just normal yeah like is if you think long term which you, you do i mean think about the next 200 people that join your program how valuable that is to your business like yeah. they're all going through that process they're all paying more more committed gonna get the results so it's like that at the end of the day protects the long-term vision that you have it's like the right clients are going to be able to train with you and and i know a lot of coaches they want to train everyone but the reality is not everyone is the best fit and coaches that realize that faster actually end up making way more money too they work with the right type of people i remember like you you mentioned that like in one of the videos like those few extra hundred dollars like they're not gonna help you. Like yeah. yes, it helps you short term, but long term, those those are the clients that are you know they're gonna be, they're gonna you know stress you out. They're pain in the neck. Like and it was hard for me to understand that at first. And I was like, man, but like damn, like this money right now would be good, would be good. <laughs> but then you know, because when I first started, it was for me like it was harder to to release. Or like to get rid of clients that I I know that are not good for this program than to get new clients. Yeah. So when I first started, like, and I knew who I didn't want. Like I would be even stricter for those parents. I'd be like, "This is how it's gonna be. If you don't like this, then you can't. You, mm. we, we won't train you anymore." And mm. they you know, ultimately they they don't like it because they're not committed. I know. I know they're not. Versus like the other parents, I it was so easy to transition them. Yeah, I like this doll. This is such a great idea. Um, like you know. We, I want to. I want my son to train. I want my my daughter to train with with this these players, these type of players. And you know that the players that are in our program, they're all on the same page. Yeah. They're all accountable. They all know the rules. They all want to be there to get better. So, mm-hmm. such a difference, man. Such yeah. A- yeah. Have you ever? I. It's kind of a weird comparison, but have you ever seen the movie called I Robot? You know what that is? The with is it with Will Smith? 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 Yeah. Yeah. So like I always I always think about how like like the robots they're they're all like kind of the same right yeah. but like if you think about your training business it's like you want you want your clients to all be very similar yeah. like you want their parents to be really committed you want them to be on time you want the kids to be really committed and I think that's the one of the trickier parts with this business is like you might have a parent who's really committed, but their kid is on a different wavelength. Yeah. Yeah. And you might have a kid who really wants to be there, but their parents are always late. Or their parents, their their card bounces every month. And it's like it's it's the matter of having like the right types of people that are very similar to each other. And that's what makes this business long term super successful. Cause like the people that come in want to be around the people that are there yeah and uh and 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 you have that environment and culture set up um very cool man well dude thanks for for jumping on here and uh it's been awesome chatting with you and keep up the great work oh thank you so much man you know i can't thank you enough like i always say thank you but like actually like what i've learned and you know i'm still learning um i'm just so grateful like you know i i'm glad i chose the right program like and i told you before like even before i joined you like i've seen your videos years ago when i first started and when i finally like you know what let me see what what this is about and i was like wow 
Like, I'm so glad I, I did it. I'm so, so glad. Thank you so much, man. Yeah, man. Glad it was a great investment. Keep, keep up the great work. <laughs> All right, man. Thank you. All right. See you, Kevin. Thanks so much, man. Bye-bye.